All right, uh, it rained pretty much all day today, and it's about 35 degrees out. It's cold, so there ain't going to be no field work. I'm just pedaling around in the shop a little bit tonight. I uh, thought I'd get this transmission up off the floor, and I need to pull that PTO off there. This was out of the 450. This had a parking brake on the back here, but this is the same bolt pattern and spline count as Ford uses for the transfer cases. So uh, I'll probably get a new process 205 and it'll go on here. My front drive shaft's got to go forward on this side and the PTO can't be there. So, well, it can be there. Problem gonna be is it's in the way so it's coming off and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it uh, I'm gonna work on uh, taking the bolts out and the problem with them bolts is they're all studs in the side of the transmission and they're all down in there kind of behind things so you got it taken off of the wrench so I'm gonna get started I'll bring you back all right, well, getting those nuts off there wasn't wasn't a whole lot of fun because a lot of them, you know, that's the type of thing you only get an eighth of a turn on. It took me quite a quite a while to get six bolts or six nuts off them studs, and them studs will have to come out of there. Uh, as you can see the transmission gears or helix will cut the transmission drive gears this one here this is what drives the PTO and it's forward in this port this port is a standard six bolt port which they use on one ton trucks and uh, some medium duty trucks um uh, ton and a half trucks whatever um that port is the same is a standard sae thing like the sae bell housing there's standards for that and that is that is standard uh the big dual shafted uh road ranger transmissions have an eight bolt and it's quite a bit larger uh, but that is a standard port what is not standard is the position of that gear in that port the depth of that gear from this face to the to the gear is not standard and how many teeth that gear have is not standard so this pto although the bolt pattern will fit will not fit my borg warner t19 because uh the the gears in the wrong position or the protrusion into the gear or into the transmission is not correct uh between uh muncie and chelsea they're the two major manufacturers now there's some new ones now out of china but uh muncie and chelsea there's there's books with part numbers for gears for uh What's going on here? All right, that's better. I think my, my camera run out of space, but anyhow. Yeah, Muncie and Chelsea. Now this is a Muncie PTO, and you can tell because it's blue, but uh, and it's not the same Muncie out of Muncie, Indiana. They just use that name. I think they are in Muncie, Indiana, but it's not the same they're not the same company that used to build four-speed transmissions. Uh, I think that's all gone. They may do that, but uh, Muncie builds hydraulic pumps and PTOs and things like that. But they've always built PTOs. Uh, but there's books uh, on part numbers, and, and you can reconfigure this thing. You can put the shaft out the front 
by disassembling it and uh, reconfiguring the shaft and the bearings and the gears in it. I've I've worked on these things for about 30 years and uh, there's just so many different ways. If you don't mark it when you tear it apart to rebuild it, uh, there's no standard way for it to go back. You can you could put the shaft out the front and run a front winch on it. Uh, I don't know that there's clearance for that, but it can be set up that way. Uh, this one had a drive shaft, went back to a hydraulic pump for that dump bed. Uh, but anyhow, this one this one is made to fit a ZF five speed, and uh, the helix on the gears is different too. I mean, that varies between transmissions. So. Uh, I know a lot of guys have, have told me, you know, well, I'll just take the PTO off of this truck and throw it on another truck. And it's, you know, going from a Chevy to a Ford or a Ford to a Dodge and the different manufacturers of transmissions are, it takes a different PTO. I've got boxes full of parts and boxes full of old PTOs. And <laughs> it, it seems like you always, you know, think you got one that'll fit something and you you don't. You, there's just so many of them. Uh, but guys always will think they're... Just because that pattern's the same, they think the uh, PTOs differ. You know, the PTOs are all the same, and they're not. Uh, I don't know anything about this PTO. I think it I think it's, looks like it's in decent shape. Uh, this motor... I've never seen run. We've never shifted this transmission, but I'm going to say from the looks of the oil that come out of it, it's in pretty decent shape. It's still red and ain't burnt. It doesn't smell burnt. But uh, the reason there's oil all over the side of it is this top nut wasn't even tight. And a couple of the other ones weren't even tight. So it's a wonder the thing in didn't fall off there uh, the other thing is is these gears these PTO gears in the train in the PTO are straight cut and they're not made to be run a hundred percent of the time uh, there are there are PTOs on Alice and transmissions and 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 some of the road rangers too that will will run down the road in gear uh they're made for spreading salt on the road where you got a pto running to run the hydraulic system on the truck to spread the salt uh, this train this pto is shifted with a cable uh they build them now especially on the allisons that are they're direct drive. I mean, this, this PTO is turning all the time and it has a clutch pack in it. And you supply pressure from the transmission pump and you lock the clutch pack up. And it's what they call a hot shift PTO where, you know, you can on demand whenever you want turn PTO on and off. You don't have to stop, push the clutch in, engage the PTO, go from there. Uh... I don't think they have that option for this transmission. This is a ZF for a Ford. And by God, it is made in the USA. So, good for that. And I know <laughs> I've never had trouble with these transmissions. We've got... Uh, Oh, there's three or four trucks around here with them. Even the one in the 88. It seemed to have a problem at first, but if you push the clutch all the way in, it goes into second and third. So I don't see that that transmission's a problem. Uh, the NV 4500s and the Dodges have a problem with fifth gear falling off the back shaft back here. But uh, that's another story. Uh,
But that's what I want to talk about today was these, these PTOs that just because that bolt pattern is a standard thing, no two PTOs are the same unless it come off the same type of transmission, same manufacturer, same uh, same gear position and stuff. Uh, <laughs> the PTO for my Louisville, I didn't have any tag on that transmission, and it's a big eating six speed. It's not a it's not a Road Ranger. It's a synchronized transmission. Uh, but when I called to order the PTO for it, they wanted to know whether it had overdrive. And I says, you know, I don't know. I don't have any information. But I, I had to guess from driving the truck that it didn't have overdrive. Uh, so there's a difference. There's a difference there. Same transmission. With overdrive, it had a different gear in it. So... And it's, yeah, it's a Muncie PTO, just like that, only, only different, so. Uh, anyhow, I've rattled on long enough. Uh, I'm going to let this thing drip out of here and get them studs out of there and uh, call it a night. It's kind of chilly out, and uh, we're gonna, I think I'm going to go to the house for the evening, so. Thanks for watching.